नमस्कार संपूर्ण मध्यमिक तह में अध्ययन करूने विद्यार्थी साथ ही मध्यमिक तह में अंग्रेजी विषय अध्यापन कराने हुए संपूर्ण शिक्षक मित्र विजयादशमी को हार्दिक मंगलमय शुभकामना सहित म फेरी फिर आज अपनी एट भिडियो लाइर को मज में आई रह विशेषत विद्यार्थी सेल्फ स्टडी करने श्रव्य दृश्य सामग्री विकास करी विद्यार्थी घरम बसर पर अंग्रेजी विषय को तैयारी में सहयोग पुराने उद्देश्य मतोष सुवेदी विकास मध्यमिक विद्यालय को अंग्रेजी शिक्षक कई सामग्री डेवलप करने प्रयास कर आज मध्यमिक तह को पाठ्यक्रम अनुसार विशेषतः कक्षा नौ दस रल्लो कक्षा में नारेसन भपिक जिस हम रिपोर्ट स्पीच भर बुझने गर्ची महत्वपूर्ण भाई परीक्षा को दृष्टिकोण पाठ मत नईकन हम दैनिक बोलीचाली में यह टपिक अत्यंत महत्व राखने होता यह संग संबंधित कई पक्षी तैयार को मज में लीर आई रह मैं आशा विद्यार्थी यह सामग्री हेर परीक्षा को दृष्टिकोण बा कई सुधार करने अवसर पाने हमारा अग्रज सहकर्मी शिक्षक मित्र भिडियो हेर रचनात्मक सलाह सुझाव दिए मेरे आपको व्यक्तिगत रूप बा मेरे आपको पेशाप्रति पेशागत क्षमता अभिवृद्धि करने अवसर दिखने ओके आई एम गोइंग विथ द टपिक नारेसन और रिपोर्टेड स्पीच व्हाट इज रिपोर्टेड स्पीच और नारेसन वी कैन डिफाइन और वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच इज द आर्ट अफ रिपोर्टिंग द वर्ड्स अफ स्पीकर इट्स कॉल नारेस देर आर टू मेन वेज अफ रिपोर्टिंग द वर्ड्स अफ अ स्पीकर द फर्स्ट वन इज डाइरेक्ट स्पीच इन विच द स्पीकर हिमसेल्फ डिलिवर सम मैसेज एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज इनडाइरेक्ट स्पीच इन विच द नेक्स्ट पर्सन स्पेशली थर्ड पर्सन रिपोर्ट्स द फर्स्ट पर्सन स्पीच लेट्स गो थ्रू सम एक्जाम्पल बिकज इफ विथ टीच इंडक्टिव वे द स्टूडेंट्स कैन लर्न बेटर सो दैट आई हेव प्रेजेंटेड यू अ टेबल इन विच देर आर सम सेंटेन्सेस इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच एंड दे आर चेंज इन टू इंडाइरेक्ट स्पीच लाइक इज हि सेट आई लिव इन द सीटी सेंटर इट इज चेंज इन टू इंडाइरेक्ट स्पीच इन दिस वे हि सेट दैट He lives in the city center. Uh, we may skip that. He said, "I am going out." It is the sentence of present continuous tense, and it is changed into indirect speech. In he said, "He was going out." In the same way, uh, I have tried to include a different sentences of belongs to different tense, and changed into. in that it is space at uh, this table will be helpful for the students to generalize the basic rules or the steps to change direct space into indirect and vice versa or uh, you may screenshot it too here are some more examples including modal verb in direct speech he said i can swim she said she could swim can is changed into could could 
Must is changed into had to. May is changed into might. Shall is changed into should. And will is changed into would. Uh, I hope it is not necessary to elaborate uh, this table because it is not so difficult one. All of you can understand very easily. So I'm skipping it. Okay, uh, let's talk about direct speech. In this form, the actual words of the speaker are put in quotes. I will one negation, double quotation marks with Rahin Chavar. Uh, example, Rama said, I am very busy now. In the above example, the speaker, Rai Rama, is known as a reporter, said is known as reporting verb, and I am very busy now is known as reported speech. They are the parts of speech, parts of narration. And we have to understand those parts very clearly. And in indirect speech, let's talk about it. In this form, the actual words of the speaker are transformed and said written in a simple manner. For example, I'm here using the same sentence of direct speech, changing into indirect one or indirect speech. Rama said that she was very busy then. Uh, I request the students to compare these two sentences, the first one in direct speech and the second one in indirect speech. Then you can understand very easily. I think I have looked both of sentence. Rama said, I am very busy now in direct speech. And Rama said that she was very busy then in indirect speech. The okay, basic rules to convert so direct speech into indirect one. There are four basic things that have to be changed while converting a direct speech to an indirect speech. And they are to change the pronoun of reported speech accordingly. Now we have to change the pronoun of direct speech while changing into indirect speech to change the reporting verb according to the reported speech. The reporting verb means say, said, said, tells, told, asked, asked, and many more. I will discuss on Latin too. And then we have to remove the inverted commas from the dialectic speech and replace them with an appropriate conjunction. And we have to use joining word here, like that, asks, if, whether, exclaimed, wanted to know, inquired. There are so many reporting, sorry, joining words. And we have to change the adverbs of the direct speech. Like now, it changed into then. Tonight, it changed into that night. In the same way, we have to change the adverbs. It is known as adverbial change. Uh, look at this example. Rajiv said to me, I shall go to the picture today. And its indirect speech is, Rajiv told me that you would go to the picture that. In the above example, reporting Bob said to, said to is changed into 12. Inverted commands are replaced by the conjunction that, that is joining what? Reported speech pronoun, I is changed into he. I, I shall go to the picture. You would go to the picture. Reported speech verb shall go is changed into would go. As another change today is changed with the word that. The last one is known as adverbial change. 
so that uh, from the example presented here with you in the slide and the explanation I provide you the basic understanding and the ways of changing direct into indirect. Uh, rules of change of pronouns. So while changing into pronoun, we have to keep in mind these rules. Okay, the first person pronoun I in nominative is changed into my in possessive and objective into me and reflexive into myself. In the same way, we, you, he, she, and they are changed. Please try to memorize uh, this chart very carefully. Uh, it will be very helpful for you. Okay, let's talk something about the pronoun change. Pronouns are changed according to a rule designed it as S O M, where S stands for subject, O stands for object, and N stands for no change or remain same. Un we may say unchanged too. The first person change to subject of reporting verb. First person pronoun is changed according to the subject of reporting verb. Second person's pronoun change to object of reporting verb. Or we may say second person is changed according to the object of reporting verb. And there is no change if it is a third person in reporting verb. Third person remain unchanged or same. This is a basic uh, understanding while changing into pronoun. Rule number one. First person pronoun of reported speech is changed according to the subject of reporting verb. We look at in the example. Uh, in the sentence of direct speech, she says, I am in 10th class. The underlined word is subject. And the first person I change according to the subject of reporting verb is she. If she indirect speech is she says that she is in 10th class. Here I is changed into she because I is first person pronoun. And first person pronoun is changed according with the subject and the subject is she. And another example, I say I am an honest man. It's indirect speech is I said that I am an honest man. Rule number two, second person pronoun of reported speech changed according to object of reporting verb. Uh, please uh, try to understand. I have uh, underlined the object. In the examination, you may be asked the questions without object. She says to me, you have done your work. In the sentence, you, I, you, see, you, they are in different color. Because you is second person and it is changed according to the object. The sentence in direct speech, she says to me, you have done your work, it's changed in this way. She tells me that I have done my work. The same way other sentences are changed, I think uh, it is not necessary to read out by myself. If you read yourself and generalize the structure or change, that will be very helpful to understand narration or reported speech. I'm skipping the slide too. And rule number three. Uh, we are talking about the person change and third rule is related with the third person pronoun. Third person pronoun of reported speech is not changed or remain the same. I look at in this example, he, they are 
third person pronoun. He says he does not work hard in direct speech. He's changed into indirect speech in this way. He says that he does not work hard. And he and they both are not changed in indirect speech. So it is the condition to understand. Okay, uh, rules of change of verb or tense. After pronoun, or after changing the pronoun, here I am going to share how the tense is changed while changing into indirect speech. The first rule, if reporting verb is given in present or future tense, if the reporting how is given in present or future tense. That is why we you go like the reporting verb ma verb is present or future tense ma chha bhane. There will be no change in the verb of verb or tense of reported speech. Okay, look at your example. Uh, the teacher says the underlined words are in present tense. Gauri performs on the stage. And it's indirect is the teacher says that Gauri performs on the stage. We have not changed the tense of reported speech because reporting bhav is given in present tense in the same way is saying and we will say to or in the next two examples too. We are not changing the tense of Bob in reported speech. And rule number two, if reporting Bob is given in past tense, okay, I'm saying present tense for reporting Bob, they sentence or example, I mean, I'm past tense for Bible errors. If reporting Bob is given in past tense, then the tense of the Bob of reported speech will change into corresponding past tense. The teacher said, said is past tense i am suffering from fever then it is changed into indirect in this way the teacher said that she was suffering from fever am suffering is changed into was suffering as a tense change and i is changed into she as a person change all the comma and inverted commas are skipped We have used that as a joining word. And in the next example, she said to me, I took the breakfast in the morning. Here, she told me that she had taken the breakfast in the morning. Took it changed into had taken. So we have to understand that if the bhav of reported speech in present continues, then we have to change it into Past continues. If the bhav of reported speech in simple past, then we have to change it into the past perfect. And the next rule, corresponding change to past form in indirect speech from the bhav in reported speech. If there is simple present, it changes into simple past. Present continues, change into past continues. Present perfect, change into past perfect. And present perfect continuous change into past perfect continuous. And we will see all the present, all the past. Simple present was one. Simple past one only. Present continuous, sir. Past continuous one only. Present perfect, sir. Past perfect one only. Any in direct speech, ma. Present perfect continuous, sir. One in direct one only. Past perfect. Perfect continuous one only. present tense. So past tense ma the past tense. Simple past change into past perfect. Past continuous change into past perfect continuous. Past perfect and past perfect continuous remain same. It means past perfect. Any direct expression past perfect sa one. Indirect one only one. Past perfect ne rakhne ko sa. Past perfect continuous sa one. Past perfect continuous. You do it ago. 
इनडाइरेक्ट बनाऊँगा टेंस चेंज होता ही ना व्हाट अबाउट फ्यूचर टेंस वेरी इजी इन फ्यूचर टेंस विल साल चेंज इन टू व्हाट विल साल बने बने उठ बनाऊँगा तो प्राइजेस तो केस में साल साल बने बने आई वही संग प्राइजेस साल को प्रयोग करते हैं तो लेकिन उठ बनाऊँगा ना तो ये चाह सी चाह इट चाह बने सुन बनाऊँगा बने और Now, okay. While changing tense, I have included here some words. We may say, I model verbs has to have to. It change into had to, will shall, would should respectively, can may, could might, must, if it refers necessity, then it is change into had to. If must refers to duty, law, and truth, then it is not sense. Would should could remain same, or no sense in indirect speech. Might used to or to, we can not sense, or we must keep them same or unchanged. Okay, uh, some of the ex exceptional case of rule number two. विद्यार्थी भाई बनी रूल नंबर टू में के थी यदि रिपोर्टिंग भाव में पास टेन्स भाई है गुड फर्स्ट एक्सेप्शन इफ रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच हेज यूनिवर्सल ट्रुथ यूनिवर्सल कमा भि यदि यूनिवर्सल ट्रुथ और हेबिचुअल फैक्ट देन देयर इज नो चेंज इन द टेन्स ओके इज इन द इक्जापल आर टीचर से अर्थ इज राउंड The earth is round. Is universal truth. So our teacher said that the earth is round. Rajib said to me, he plays with right hand. Rajib told me that he plays with right hand. It is habitual fact. The second exception or exception number two. If reporting speech has past historical fact, then there is no change in the tense. As an example. Our teacher said Ashoka left war after the conquest of Kalinga. It is the past historical fact, so it remains. Our teacher said that Ashoka left war after the conquest of Kalinga. A third exception: if reporting speech has two actions to be happening at the time when there is. No change in the tense. As an example, he said, "My wife was making lunch when I was studying." Here, two actions are happening at the same time. He said that his wife was making lunch when he was studying. So, do you take or not? Just song is boring. So, what? Why was that? When I'm doing this, what they know? 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 This life, when you do the answer, what? समझ इफ रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच हेज सम इमेजिन कंडीशन देन देयर इज नो चेंज इन द टेन्स इफ आई वेर रिच आई वुड हेल्प हिम सी सेट दैट इफ सी वेर रिच सी वुड हेल्प हर तब बुझ् सजिल को कंडीसनल अर्थ इफ क्लस को सैकेंड टाइप्स रिपोर्टेड स्पीच में छोटे टेन्स चेंज कर फिफ्थ एक्सेप्शन इफ रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच कंटेन्स हेड थर्ड फॉर्म टू इन्फिनेटिव एंड वुड कुड सुड मस्ट माइट अर टू एक्सेट्रा देन देयर इज नो चेंज इन द टेन्स यहाँ अगर भी हेरे थी सी सेट टू मी यू सुड अबे आई सुड अबे बनाइए ओनली प्रोनाउन इज चेंज Not tense. Okay, some other small changes that used to take place while changing speech. Sorry, direct speech to indirect speech. It is related with adverbial change. Tonight go that night. When I think I'm late. This is regarded. Now, uh, look at this table. Year change to there. Now to then. This to that. These to those today, that day, tonight, that night, 
yesterday the previous day last night the previous night last week the previous week tomorrow the next day or we may say the following day too next week the following week or the next week ago before thus so hence then either the either come into go uh, there may be others adverbials too uh, i hope the students of second level are consulting different reference books as well as online too. so that you can point out those words note and in 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 indirect speech we talk about such incidents that are after the time of reporting and had happened away from the place of reporting therefore the words that show nearness has to be replaced by the words that show distance some exception in uh, this sense come is changed to go if there is some word given after come that shows nearness if this here and now point points to such a thing place a time that is in front of the speaker then no change takes place in indirect narration our rules for changing rules for change in narration of different types of sentences a sentence ko types anusar chai joining word ke huncha farak farak huncha stay assertive sentence sab bhane you have to join with that if there is no object after reporting verb there it should not be changed if there is some object after reporting verb then say it changed to tell says or tells and said to tells and said to to told according to the context said to can be replaced by replied informed stated added remarked asserted adjured pleaded reminded reported complained or we may say ordered to accept a uh, second rule a uh, put conjunction we have to put conjunction or joining word that in place of double inverted comma in assertive sentence change the pronouns of reported speech as listed earlier pronoun change ko lagi hamle agadi chai dekhayeko chart anusar s o n bhanera bhanecha subject object and no change bhanera first person cha bhane subject anusar second person cha bhane object anusar ra yadi third person cha bhane no change bhaneka cha a example showing some assertive sentence change into indirect form she said to me i shall sleep now she told me that she, she would sleep then he said my brother's marriage will come next month he said that his brother's marriage would come of the following month okay now after the assertive sentence uh, now we are discussing how to change interrogative sentence how to change interrogative interrogative sentence direct speech into indirect form if there is a yes no questions in the direct speech interrogative so once you do the types once you have yes no or go double yes then the reported speech will starts with whether or if if there is yes no question then we have to join with whether or if and the reported clause from will be subject verb ko element banana peter said are you from australia it's indirect is peter asked if i was from australia so reporting verb pan farak parak garyo hamile chai agadi said prayog gareka thiyau told prayog gareka thiyau yaha chai asked aayo bhane joining word pani ke aayo ta that prayog gareka thiyau assertive sentence ma yaha chai hamile ke garyo if prayog gareyo whether pan prayog garyo plus यदि डब्ल्यूएस हो भने डब्ल्यूएस वर्ड्स नै जोइनिङ वर्डको रूपमा आउँछ त्यो चाहिँ हामी पछाडी हेर्छौ ओके इन इनडाइरेक्ट स्पीच क्वेशन्स स्टार्टिंग विथ हु होम व्हेन व्हेयर व्हाट द डब्ल्यूएस वर्ड बी द सब्जेक्ट अर द ऑब्जेक्ट अफ द रिपोर्टेड क्लास हेर्नु छ यहाँ जोइनिङ वर्ड चाहिँ कसरी प्रयोग भएको छ ब्रेड सेट 
who will come with you? Bradley Poe was not going to answer. So I'm the reporter that he gave one over. Usanga was answered one over. Okay. Brad asked who would go with him. Tina said, What will be the charge? Tina inquired, What the charge would be? I said, The man, where is the hotel? I asked the man where the hotel was. Mother said, How is the chicken? Mother asked me how the chicken was. In this way, we have to change. A reporting imperative sentence. Of imperative sentence, like what's indirect one? We will use two as a joining class before the reported command or request. I was saying positive sound, two could break on you. Jan just say, I'm saying, sir, Tim, but that for a Yes, no question, ma'am. And if a weather could progress at him, doubly as question, ma'am. Same doubly as would go progress at him. The theoretical is an imperative sentence lie, indirect one of the positive sentence, someone am going to progress on. If negative, then we have to use not to. In the reporting, what point for others? Ordered, requested, asked, advised, or wait. So, I'm going with the slide. Uh, we will use two as joining clause, two and not two, before the reported command or request. And the reported verb will be changed according to the moods of the sentences. I'll be saying, Rahe Gautama, I'm just saying, question one, ask Rahe Gautama. Interrogative, assertive, ma. Said rahe kati ho, told rahe kati ho. Tara imperative ma kya bolta? Mood kostas. Sentence kya hota? Sentence command hogi, order hogi, advice hogi, suggestion hogi. The answer is clearly. Okay, look at in the example. The man said, "Please bring me a chair." It is request. So we have use a. Reporting verb is requested. The man requested to bring him a chair. The officer said, fall back. The officer ordered to fall back. Mother said, listen to your elders. Mother advised me to listen to my elders. Mr. Murphy said, do not go near the house. Mr. Murphy forbid going near the house. Okay, look at here. Uh, some more examples, indirect and indirect. Uh, my dear one business, asked. She said to him, consult the doctor, suggested or advised. He said to me, write it again. Asked me to write it again. You said to your father, please grant him leave. You, you requested your father to grant him leave. My mother said to me, never tell a lie. My mother forbade me to tell a lie. In this way, you can change. And now, uh, we are discussing about reporting exclamatory sentence. To change direct exclamatory speeches to the indirect one, we need to replace the interjection. Hooray, wow, else, oh, etc. With joining clause that. Assertive sentence must be that little numbers. And the exclamatory WH words, what, how, will be replaced by very before the adjective in the reported clause. Look at it in the example. Clear said, hooray, Barcelona won the mess. It's indirect speech. It's clear. Exclaim with joy. Khushi bhakta kare kuchh ne exclaim with joy honi bhaiyo. Dukha bhakta kare kuchh ne exclaim. In sad. Clear. Ex exclaim with joy that Barcelona had won the match. Your tense sense, person sense, yode uncha. So many types of sentences are there. Reporting, Barbara, joining words say. I'm the follow graph for safety matter you are saying what do you hope? I said oh, my pet died. Exclaim with grief. Okay, take them push back together and do her back together. Some more example. Okay, I think you have studied. Uh, to change optative sentence into direct speech, the following. Follow the following rules along with the above mentioned rules. Already mentioned the rules are persons in sense the In case the reported speech starts with the word may, then the reporting verb said is replaced with the word played. 
in case the reported speech starts with the word would then the reporting verb said is replaced with the word wished that is the prayed i o wished i o a make kuni thama might auncha mark of exclamation is committed is omitted in indirect speech the optative sentence become assertive sentence direct ma optative sentence cha bhane indirect ma desh lai chai hami ke garaunu parcha assertive banaunu parcha ra avastha anusar sentence ko mood anusar athaba according to the mood of the speaker we have to use prayed wished anonymous uh, some examples are here he said to me may you live long ta ta tapai dherai barsha baasaus bhaneko ta ke ho ta prarthana gareko kamana gareko so he prayed that i might live long my mother said to me may you succeed in the test parcha ma safal bhau bhanera amale ta kamana garnu bhayo my mother prayed that i might succeed in the test she said uh, would that i were rich she wished she had been rich i said to him would that you were here on sunday i wish he had been here on sunday in this way we have to change uh dear students aba tapai haru lai mai abhyas ko lagi kei prashna haru rakheko chu keeping the phrase in mind only perfect practice makes man perfect पूर्ण अभ्यास ने मत मानस पूर्णता दिखने कुरा मद्देनजर करते यहाँ कि प्रश्न रखे आई होप यू विल प्क्टिस युअर सेल्फ एंड डोन्ट फील एजुटेड और फील फ्री टू सियर इफ यू हेव एनी कन्फ्यूजन आई कैन मेल मी कल मी इन माइ से फोन यू कैन मैसेज मी थ्रू मैसेंजर as well as you can sms me i will try my best to solve your difficulties okay, these are some questions please consider garnu hola te bhayo bhanda bhai asa online basi rahnu pardaina ma feri pani dekhai rahe chu a sang sang ma euta anurodh ke garchu bhane please please visit my channel because i am uploading a different reading materials विभिन्न श्रव्य दृश्य सामग्री से मैं प्राय जिस अपलोड कर सहयोग कराने उद्देश्य सो डोट फर्गेट टू भिजिट माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रोवाइड मी फिडबैक एज अ कमेंट लाइक सियर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इट्स माई रिक्वेस्ट इन द सेम वे आई एम जिस गोइंग टू स्टप टू डे सेशन we will meet in another video stay safe do practice more nimit adhyan garnu hola dhanyabad namaskar